How's it going guys and welcome to our first X4 video in a long time actually. This will be our first one on Titanfall 2. I am hoping to get some out on Battlefield 1 as well but uh, we'll get to that in a little while. Now a lot of you guys are probably relatively new to my channel. If you haven't been here for a long while you probably don't know what the actual X4 series is. The only thing you'll have seen is my X4 weapon reviews in which case I play two games of whatever game I'm reviewing a weapon on uh, and we try and see how well I go and I review that weapon based on those two games that I played. Uh, that was branched off, that idea was branched off an X4 series that I originally did on Battlefield 4, in which case I would play four games of Battlefield and try and accumula accumulate 10,000 points in each game. Or in other words, I'd play four games and try and get 40,000 points over all four of those games. Now, of course, I highly doubt I'm going to be able to get 40,000 points on Titanfall 2. Uh, so we've changed it up a little and I'm going to try and achieve 100 points over four games. So this one is the initially, this is the highlights you're seeing from the first first game. Uh, I'll continue explaining in a second, but let's just have a look at what happened in this game. Now, I didn't do too badly in this game, but I still wasn't very happy with myself. Uh, I did manage to get three late Titan kills. You'll see a couple of them right here. Uh, and that def definitely boosted my score up. If you haven't played Titanfall 2, that's going to get me 10 points. You can see right there. Kablamo, another 10 points coming in with this guy as well. Uh, so that didn't do bad, but I did need to do better with the Titan. As in, I am using Tone uh, as my Titanfall. Uh, however, you know, I didn't, I would have liked to pick up that score a bit better. Only 11 kills. We got 99 overall, which is only one point below our 100 points that we're after. Uh, but I, I definitely felt like I could have done a lot better. I had a really quiet start. I didn't get a lot of pilot kills. Uh, and my actual Titanfalls were pretty short-lived. I had a cut. I think I had three Titanfalls in that run, which is actually not too bad. But on one or two of them, my Titan fell down and it just got absolutely blasted. I think in one case, it, it uh, the Titanfall occurred. And then I just got shot before I could even get there. And by the time I got there, my Titan was half dead anyway. So that was very frustrating. In game two, however, uh, I would have liked a few more early pilot kills. However, I got that many kills at the start of this game, um, pilot and not pilot, that we got the Titan, my first Titan fall extremely quickly, uh, and that just went so well. Now, I didn't actually get any Titan kills in this game. I did not kill any Titans. I just got a shit ton of kills, a lot of kills, a lot of Reaper kills, uh, a lot of actual player kills, a lot of pilot kills, a lot of minion kills. I just kept going and going and going, uh, and this one actually turned out to be our best game of this X4 videos, coming in at 100. 149 points so that I was pretty happy with that was definitely better than the uh, 99 points we received in the first game um, but back to explaining what's going on like I was saying a minute ago guys I also wanted to talk to you about how I'm going to do the battlefield 1 videos now I did mention this last night at the live stream. Some of you guys will have been there. Um, but I'll ask you guys again. I want to try and put it out there. I really want to know what you guys want to think and how you guys would enjoy these videos. So like I say, uh, in this Titanfall 2, I'm trying to achieve 100 points per game. And I'm going to be playing four games that you'll see the highlights of me commentating just like this over all four. So that's a total of 400 points we're trying to achieve. Uh, so far, we've got a 99-point game in game one and 149 points. If I can keep up these scores, I'm going to have to move it up a little. I think I might in the next Titanfall X4 series. We'll see how I go because actually before I started recording this one I actually got some really bad scores. I was getting like 60s and 49s and stuff like that. Nowhere near 100. Uh, it was absolutely terrible. Then I actually clicked the record button and thought fuck it. Let's go for it. I clicked the record button uh, and we absolutely nailed it for the first couple of games. So I came in really optimistic after, especially after game 2 receiving 149 points. I felt a lot better about myself. I thought we, we can actually do this. If we can nail this so I was feeling a lot better my problem is when I want to do this on Battlefield 1 uh, is that uh, these games in Titanfall these games go for around about 10 minutes maybe a little under so the whole recording that I did for this video went for about 45 minutes and I've managed to numb that down to as you can see about a 15 minute video if I was going to do four games on Battlefield 1 that recording could go upwards of two hours that could I could shorten that down maybe to like a 30 minute to 40 minute video that is a huge X4 series video which I would be more than happy to do for you guys. If you guys want to see some massive, huge, long Battlefield 1 X4 videos where I play four games of Conquest and commentate over all four, trying to reach a total point, something maybe along the lines of, uh, what, we probably do about 20,000 points each in Battlefield 4, something along those lines. Uh, I can definitely do that for you guys. However, that is going to be a very long video and it's going to take a lot longer to edit. So, would you like me to do four games on Battlefield 1 or would you like me to just do two games for the X4 series on Battlefield 1? So that way I can 
numb it down to just like this one, maybe about a 10 or 15 minute video. Um, but that'll only be two games of Conquest. So make sure you guys let me know in the comments what you would like me to see. Would you like to see a stupidly long four game X4 video series on Battlefield 4? Or would you just like me to numb it down to two uh, games of Conquest and actually get that down to a 10 to 15 minute video? Let me know in the comments below. Like I say, this uh, Titan run we had here was just absolutely amazing. Uh, we did get a second Titan run, which wasn't too bad, but you can actually see, uh, I actually got this Titan so early in this game that my enemy, the enemy team hardly had any Titans, and any that were there were either on the roof or just outside. I managed to just sort of hide in this little tunnel way here. I was avoiding enemy team Titans, and that's one thing I've definitely le learned to do with Tone. If any of you guys know uh, Titanfall 2, if you've played this game, Tone is my favorite Titan. Uh, he's just so easy to use. He's simple. He's cool. He's effective. Uh, brilliant at taking out infantry. You can see me now changing over to the Titan, uh, uh, anti-Titan assault class that I've made. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but this was, uh, he's just my favorite Titan, easily. That shield is crazy. The rocket launcher is brilliant for taking out infantry. Uh, being able to lock on and curve, uh, you know, rockets around corner. He's pretty overpowered. He, he probably, <laughs> he is absolutely ridiculous. However, um, one thing I've learned is you cannot go full frontal with him. And against other Titans, Titans, he can be a little dangerous, so you need to think. You need to be very careful with him. I worked my way to try and take out infantry as best as I could. I tried to avoid Titans, and we managed to pick up 149 points without taking out any of them. The other thing I did for Tome, which I'm definitely glad that I did, I wasn't too sure at first, was I changed his ability um, to having those two uh, jolts, so those two sort of slides, those two jumps that he gets. Uh, I managed, I, I changed it over his ability so that I get two of those, those two of those jumps or those booster assaults, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what to refer to him as. I changed it so that I had two instead of one. That way giving me a better way to move around the battlefield as well as escape so I can whack a shield down, get two boosts out of that area and I'm just gone. I'm out of there. Then I've got a bit of distance between me and other titans. You'll see that probably in this game as well. Uh, in which case this one was a very slow but very consistent game. I didn't have any like big double kills. I didn't have huge massive plays but I was consistently every few seconds getting another kill, getting another kill, getting another kill over and over over and over again. I didn't die a lot. Uh, I had a bit of time in between each kill. I had a few. You can see now taking out a few minions. Um, but I actually, as well, uh, I only got something like 11 uh, actual uh, pilot kills, and I had something along the lines of 25 minion kills, which which doesn't sound like a lot. It might do if you don't play Titanfall 2, but if you are playing, if you are a Titanfall player, you'll know that that's, that's not too many. Like, that's not a massive game. Uh, however, a huge majority of my minion kills were actually Reapers, which count for 5 points, which is exactly the same as a pilot kill on the point scale. So I actually did pretty dang well with that, picking up all those Reaper skills and just consistently picking up kills. Making sure as well that I'm not searching for minions. If you've got four minions in front of you, but you think you may have seen a pilot, go for that pilot. He's gonna be worth more points. You can definitely kill those minions a lot quicker. If you can take down that pilot, you're gonna be a lot safer. You're gonna pick up more points. And if you do it quickly enough, you can usually head down and get those minions afterward anyway, turning those four points and the death into a pilot kill, meaning five, and maybe like three minion kills, which all over, you're still alive, and you've now got eight points instead. So you can kind of see what I'm doing at the end of this game here. I'm moving around the back of the battlefield. I'm avoiding the big fights with Tone. Uh, I'm trying to pick up pilot kills. I'm searching for them. I'm staying at a distance, uh, and I'm just sort of being very careful, very reluctant to move straight into the front line with Tone. Uh, we got our only Titan kill in this game, which is this one here with the rocket launcher. That was the only one we've actually got uh, in this game in the sense that, that we, we only got one Titan kill which once again uh, isn't too shabby considering in this game we got 120 points. I didn't get any Titan kills with Tone. Uh, I think the best the best thing for Tone is to sit around the backfield, defend yourself from Titans and just pick up as many infantry kills as you can. That was working really well for me and especially having that double boost. That double boost was just insane. If you were playing Titanfall 2 and you play as Tone, go and get that double boost. It is incredible and you will find it so much handier. The other ability I think I have as well is that strength and shield. So you can see that all the abilities I'm using for him are not for extra damage. He has enough damage. He has a freaking rocket launcher as his primary weapon. Here you go. You can see the reaper kills as well coming out along. Just boom, boom, boom. Five points over and over again. I notice a friendly titan heading out the long way around this way. So I decide I'm going to go help him out. Uh, and we actually come across two titans down this way, which uh, we get one minion, of, uh, one, another reaper off the top there, which is another five points for me. Um, 
but we end up coming across two enemy titans here, probably three, something like that. It's absolutely ridiculous. Just have a look at how I t try and play this out. This is not good for me. I think I probably would have got a few more points if I left this area uh, and actually headed back and tried to pick up a few more, you know, minion and infantry kills over on the other side. Uh, I, I do find a couple of Reapers here, though. That ended up picking up a few points, but we just got stuck. Luckily, though, I managed to stay alive until the end of the game. I think the only thing that was keeping me here in this position, or at least staying still, was we had this my and my teammates Titanfall come in, uh, and then I kind of just felt obliged to stay there. I was trying to be a good teammate, just help defend these guys, putting in a lot of damage, trying to defend myself and just help these guys out survive this ruin. But um, like I say, this is, not a, uh, this is not a Titan designed to take out other Titans, and generally I've got the Strength and Shield, I've got the double boost. I'm just trying to defend myself and stay alive so I can pick up more kills. Kills, kills, kills. And this game was, you know, not huge. It wasn't a massive game, but it was very consistent. I wasn't dying. Uh, I was staying alive. I was getting a good amount of kills, especially my Titan. My main goal is to stay alive and just pick up infantry kills, especially as Tone. Uh, if I'm playing a different game mode and I feel like I want to take out more Titans, uh, then, I'll, then I'll switch. I have set up other Titans as well to, you know, be a bit more effective in taking out other Titans. But, um, you know, generally... Generally, I go with Tone, especially in these team deathmatch games. Here's, here's one case where I do uh, have to just take on a Titan one-on-one. -on -one. You can see what I'm doing now. I've got that spare boost available back there. Bang, bang, bang. I'm trying to stay behind cover. I'm trying to let him run out of ammo without being able to hit me because even whilst I was behind cover, that dude was still trying to shoot me. Now he's running out of ammo. Just one more shot and we get the massive melee kill. How cool is that animation. That animation is absolutely badass. So this game you'll actually see there was no infantry at the very start. Most of these highlights you'll see um, I actually uh, start out with the infantry and I'll show you guys the best way to play this game I found especially if you're playing team deathmatch is at the very beginning of the game no one has their titans. Everyone is going to be infantry so if you can just sprint straight to the middle of the map and just snipe out if you can get a long distance weapon. Now I'm using the burst fire assault rifle uh, otherwise you can go the sniper rifle or a something along those lines. Just make a Titan for the very start of each game. Something that's going to get you some long distance kills and just pick off pilots. Just pick them off for a long distance. If you can get like four kills at the start of the game, and that's very easy to do. That is not hard. If you can get to the middle of the map and pick off about three or four Titans, that's 15 to 20 points. I've had a few games where I pick up five or six kills in my first life just by charging in and picking off pilots at the very beginning of the game. There's no Titans. There's not a lot of danger. You can charge out into the middle of the map and just pick off pilots as best you can, as fast as you can. Try and get as many kills as you can before they get their Titans. Uh, as well as that, if you can get a lot of minions like I did in game two, uh, what you can end up doing is getting your titan incredibly quickly. What does that mean? It means that you've now got Tone. It means you've got probably the best infantry taking out Titan in the game, and you can just pound them, pound them, pound them, pound them. Stop them getting their Titans, picking up more kills, more points, 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 as early as you can, because as soon as they get their Titans, half the battlefield is going to be filled with these massive, just difficult to destroy robots that are only actually worth 10 points. Now, that's only the equivalent of two kills, and they're a lot harder to take out than getting two kills. You can see here, there's one, another guy across the other building, Boom, there's two. That's the equivalent points-wise of taking out a Titan. Taking out pilots is a lot quicker getting your points. Uh, so if you act fast, trying to get the kills before they get the Titans, you'll have a lot more chances. It'll be a lot quicker. You'll end up with a lot of points. Try and work those points in early. Uh, another thing I did, uh, I found with this game is uh, I had two very good Titan Falls. You can probably see the start of the game. Like I said, this one I had a very slow start. I just couldn't find those kills. I think I got taken out early a couple of times, and by the time I'd got my head in the zone, they had already called in their Titan Falls. I'd switched over to my anti Titan class, uh, and however, I needed to catch up again. I needed to catch up using my actual Titan. I did stick with Tone. I was feeling pretty confident, and I was pretty happy I did because we did very, very well. One thing as well, uh, I'd actually tried, before this, I was only using the Ziploc character. So for my pilot, I was using that Zipline character, the, the initial one that you actually start out with. Um, whereas in this, these games, this X4 series, I transferred over to the teleporting. One thing you will see me do at the very end of the life, uh, in the very end of my life in this Titanfall, one thing I do is uh, I've got it set so that when I eject, it explodes. I've got that self-detonate thing. So if I eject from my Titan, uh, once I've reached that point where there is just no return, I'm going to die. If I eject, my 
Titan will blow up and hopefully get a couple of kills in the process. One thing I found that I could do is eject from that, eject from my Titan, uh, and whilst I'm in the air, hit that teleport. Uh, because one thing that's going to happen quite a lot in this game is when you eject from your Titan, you're going to go flying into the air. You are wide open, and quite often another Titan on the enemy team is just going to go bang and pick you off from the sky. So one thing I can do, boom, zoom myself from the air, go and turn in completely invisible to a point I don't even exist. I t <laughs> you'll see me do it at the end of the thing. You'll know what I'm talking about. Teleport in the air, you'll repeat, reappear really close to the ground, and generally you can find some cover pretty quickly and it'll actually keep you alive. So game four, we managed to hit a total of 131 points. We did pretty freaking well in this game. We had a great comeback because like I say, the huge majority of my points uh, actually come from the very start of the game, come from my pilot killing and my assassinating at the very beginning of these matches. So I needed a good comeback uh, and getting all these kills with this Titan was just absolutely perfect. And we even continued to do that afterwards. So here we go. Here's the eject. Bang. I blow up. Teleport. I'm now invisible. Boom. I appear just before the end and I've landed behind cover on top of this building perfect absolutely perfect that is probably this is probably my favorite class setup that I've got in this game uh, I'm not too sure if I prefer my uh, anti-titan class or this one but either way just having that invisibility to zoom out of my Titan having the double dash on my uh, tone Titan is just absolutely perfect and then having that reinforced shield just provides that extra cover absolutely brilliant that is a total of 499 points we've picked up in these videos which is crazy I didn't think we'd get that far so let me know what you guys want with the battlefield one videos in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you all later. TK out. Have a good one.